How air conditioning works is really complicated. It involves an awful lot of science, so I'm going to try and make it really simple. Now, to start with, aircon is a sealed system, closed to atmospheric pressure. And inside that system is filled with refrigerant, and that refrigerant switches from gas to liquid. And that loop exists in two halves, a low-pressure side and a high-pressure side. Now, when the engine's running and the air conditioning is on, the compressor, which is driven by a belt, turns a pump inside. And that pump draws refrigerant from the low-pressure side. Now, at this stage, that refrigerant is in gas form. The compressor does exactly what the name suggests. It compresses that gas, now making it high-pressure. And a consequence of that high-pressure means that gas now becomes hot. So that hot, high-pressure gas is then forced into a condenser. Now, the condenser is just like a radiator. It cools that gas down just enough to turn it from a gas into a liquid. It's still hot and it's still high pressured. The liquid then travels through a dryer. And that dryer filters out any water or contaminants. <laughs> now it gets complicated. The liquid then passes through a thermal expansion valve. When it goes through that valve, it converts from high pressure to low pressure, and a byproduct of that conversion means it goes from being hot to now becoming cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's zero degrees. And that cold, low pressure liquid is sent into an evaporator, and that evaporator is inside the cockpit of the car. A fan then pushes air over those cold metal fins, turning that air cold and pushing that cold air into the cabin. And at the same time, it draws warm air from within the cabin as well. As the air passes over the evaporator, the liquid inside heats up just enough to turn it back into a gas. It then gets put back into the system and it starts the cycle all over again. Now, our problem is here, the compressor. This is the heart, the pump of the whole system. If this doesn't work, the whole lot falls to pieces. Air conditioning is a complicated system and it relies on some really interesting science. And it's that science that converts the refrigerant from low pressure to high pressure, from a gas to a liquid and, of course, from hot to cold. Now, repairing a seized compressor just isn't viable. It's just not worth it. I can get hold of a new one for around $250. That's £185.